Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Enneagram and Coaching. I'm Hillary, your certified Enneagram life coach, and today we are gonna be going over the 10 signs that you might be a type one, the perfectionist. And I just wanna start off with, this video is definitely not gonna be perfect because, let me show you, this one that's in my office, he has already, oh, I'm totally messing this up. Look at this, this is the perfectionist video and I'm messing it up already. Um, he just randomly will start scratching and stuff. So if you hear anything, he will not leave me alone right now. His name's Luke, he's my rescue dog. So before we get started, don't forget to push that subscribe button. It's super important to my channel. And also if you don't mind, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. But without further ado, let's dive into the 10 signs that you might be a perfectionist. Sign number one is you are wise and discerning. And what that means for the type one is people a lot of times will go to ones um, for wisdom and advice. And so if you find a lot of people come to you for wisdom and advice, that might be why. And the reason is, is because when the type one is in a really healthy place, they will give truthful advice in a kind and compassionate way. And people really need that from the type ones. And a type one, they, you know, you guys know, they understand what is good. And so by them understanding what is good, they can help others make important decisions. And so that first sign that you might be a one is if you are wise and discerning. The second sign for the type one, the perfectionist, is if you feel like you are the only one doing good. More than likely you feel this obligation to do what is right but you feel like you're the only one that feels this and chooses this and you might even feel like you're the only one that cares about what is important the third thing is you beat yourself up when you make mistakes a type one they have a pretty mean inner critic that can be relentless this inner critic will blame them for everything and to be honest this makes perfect sense because the wounding childhood message of the one is it's not okay to make mistakes which means if you are a one, you're terrified of making mistakes. You guys are the hardest on yourselves. And I mean, advice for me would be like just learning about this, just gaining the self-awareness might actually help you um, because it is okay to make mistakes sometimes. Okay, so let's move on to the fourth sign that you might be a type one. And that is you have a ton of self-discipline. I'm so jealous of this. That is something I definitely as a type nine struggle with. I mean, the type one, they have so much control. They can motivate themselves. If they say they will do it, they will. An example would be if you're a type one, um, you know, do you go to the gym every day? And if you do, do you set the time limit? Like say it's 5 a.m. every day. I almost can guarantee when you put that on your to-do list, it gets done. No matter what, no matter how you feel, if you're tired, more than likely, if you put it on your list and you have a set time, you're gonna get it done. You have a ton of self-discipline. Okay, so the fifth thing, we're halfway through of the 10 signs that you might be a type one. You feel like you always have to do what is right. And really, it's because the type one, they fear being wrong. It's one of their core fears in life is being wrong. This could be partly why the type one is called the perfectionist, you know? They do fear being wrong. Now, that's not to say that they are the ones that have the perfect house at all time and everything's always perfect and stuff like that. I have actually talked to some type ones. I'm wondering if they have a strong nine wing that they don't always have to have everything perfect. But you know, in the end, yes, they do like to do what is right. To them being right is being good. And sometimes the type one, what they, even if it's what they think is right, it will be the only way to do it, right? So even, even if it might not be the wrong thing, if they think it's the right thing, it's gonna be the only way it can get done. Does that make sense? If you're type one, let me know in the comments below, does that resonate with you? Um, can you expound on that a little bit? What's, what does that look like in your life? Okay, number six, this one's one of my favorite ones for the type one. Um, they can walk into a room and see automatically what is wrong. Say they're like, okay, let's just say for example, they're coming home from work and um, it could be a guy or a girl, doesn't matter. They get home from work and their spouse is maybe cooking dinner and the house is clean, but they come in and they're like, they kind of like, look at the room, I don't know, you know, scan the room and there's a pillow on the floor. The type one, a lot of times are gonna be like, oh, there's a pillow out of place. Instead of being like, wow, the house looks great. And their first instinct is really gonna be to see what is out of place, what is wrong. And so they're gonna notice that pillow a lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times before they're gonna notice like everything else in the room. The number seven sign that you might be a type one, the perfectionist is you love a to-do list. And I think I already hit on this a little bit, but the type one loves a to-do list. 
And you might even write something on your list that you've actually already done just so you can cross it off because you definitely, you know, you want to, you want the credit, but usually if you only need the credit for yourself, right? It's not like you're going to take your list and be like, look what I did. No, no, no. It's your own self-discipline. It's your own um, thing. Okay. So here's a question for my type ones. Have you ever written a to-do list and made a mistake while you're writing? Maybe you misspelled a word or something, or like you were like, Oh no, I didn't mean to write that or anything like where there's a little mistake. Here's my question. Do you just scratch it off and keep writing? That's what I would do. Or do you crumble up the paper, throw it away and start all over? That is a question for my type ones. What would you do there? Okay. So moving on to number eight is you obey all the traffic rules and you might even get super angry at those that don't do the same. Honestly, the one is to me, I, when I was thinking about this, I, I was thinking, well, they probably are like, you should do the right thing even when no one's looking, which is integrity. So I would agree with that. But I, I have heard that the type ones, uh, they really do. Moving on to number nine, you see the world in black and white. Yes or no, right or wrong. And there's no gray. There's nothing in between. And number 10, the last one, you might feel frustrated that other people don't have the same standard as you do. I think it's because the type one, they might strive so hard for moral integrity and perfection. They can start to feel frustrated that other people don't even try to consider these things. So yeah, they have super high standards. So, but anyways, guys, that's the 10 things. Those are the 10 signs that you might be an Enneagram type one, the perfectionist. Let me know in the comments below. Does this resonate with you? Are you a type one? Um, anything like that. I love hearing from you guys. To wrap this up, if you want to follow me on social media, I'm Hillary underscore McCaskey underscore coaching. I also have just an Enneagram Instagram account, if that makes sense. And that is called Enneagram and coaching. You can find me in both those places. And if you got to the end of this video and you're like, gosh, I think I'm a one, but I'm still not for sure. I offer a discover you typing session. It's a one hour session over zoom or FaceTime or anything like that with me. And we will get down to the bottom of what your type is, what your wing is. And then usually we can figure out what your subtype is too. So anyways, I offer that all that information is down below in the description box. And so if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I have, I've already done, I think I did. What did I do already? The type nines, 10 signs you might be at the peacemaker. And now we're on one, I'm going to do all the types. And so if you want to watch that video on your type, don't forget to subscribe. It's coming soon your way, but that's all I have today, guys. So thanks so much for watching until next time. Bye guys.